get to them. Do you want to give us a sneak peek to where you're going next? Uh, well, um, mm. I'm exploring opportunities. I, you know, I, I've been uh, in the U.S. Uh, and, and in government, uh, public post for 15 years, but private sector much more. So I'm, I'm eager to get uh, back to the private mm. sector. That's where I'm very comfortable. And so I'll, I'm looking forward to that and just exploring mm. various ways to do that. Are you going to stay in the same kind of realm of, of work? And well, you see what I'm interested in. I'm interested yeah. in the interest rates <laughs> and in bond <laughs> issuance by the Federal Reserve, the, the uh, all I of think the I know where you're going. <laughs> 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 I think I've got a good sense. All right. There are a bunch of, uh, of questions. Um, all right, this is a good one. We've gotten a few questions on the role of cryptocurrency and central bank digital currency, uh, which is an area of focus, the Atlantic Council. What are the challenges, risks you see from these emerging financial technologies? And this issue is uh, debated uh, in every, so I've been in now G7 meetings and G20 meetings with world leaders since 2017. And so every meeting talks about this. Uh, and the, the competing needs are, if you have cryptocurrency that is uh, anonymous, you lose track of, uh, of terrorism finance and some of the core issues that the international financial system is settled on. So there, there's clearly th some downsides to that. It's not clear what the, value add proposition is of, uh, of, of currencies like Bitcoin other than speed of speed of trading. How does it create a store of value? How does it really uh, uh, create a borrowing? You know, are there are there users of that? That still has to be proven and explored. <coughs> On the other hand, and so I'll be critical of, you know, central banks are 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 are, are um, dominated by inertia, and that means slow settlement. So one of the things, so we, we World Bank have taken two positions on this. One, how can central banks speed up their settlement process so that they're competitive with cryptocurrency? So that, you know, I think it should be viewed as head-on competition between two different concepts of the world. And then the other thing we want from the World Bank standpoint is if the regulatory structure to be accessible by countries that don't have much capacity. If you, if you have a very complicated regulatory structure on international tax or on international financial regulation, the poor countries lose out. They just can't afford the compliance costs of the systems that are being set up. That's a very real problem facing the country. How do you reduce settlement? Is it basically having uh, crypto coins for each of the central banks, like central bank issued crypto assets? They, they talk about uh, uh, central bank uh, digital, currency. Right, digital currency. And so that's a buzzword, and some may do that, and then there'll be competition to see who's got the best one and the one that settles the, or clears has the has the most dynamic markets underpinning it. So I think I I think that's more the desired direction of the world, and we'll see if any of the central banks really pull it off. Just real quick before we move on, do you think that we're going to get a Fed coin in the next couple of years? Oh, uh, I don't I don't know the answer to that. They'll they'll try to push on it. Very diplomatic.